Hi, welcome to Aman. <laughs> Thank you, nice to meet you. I'm Sham. Nice to meet you, Sir Justin. I'm Sham. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You have a wonderful place. Thank you. Thank you. How do you guys attract customers aside from the village people? Because mm -hmm. when I saw there's a lot of people. Huh? Thank you. And then sabi ng Sir thank Michael, you. hindi pa to madami. Yeah. Hindi pa to puno. Sounds like kasi oh, morning oh. um crowd. Oh, oh, oh. The ambience is so great, by the way. The ambience wasn't like this before. Because oh. we really just started with a 20 seater indoor. All right, sige po. I'm very excited to try your specialties okay. here in Aman. So let's go, goers, and food trip na naman po. It's all about food here in Pampanga, the culinary capital of the Philippines. Very, very excited to try the different kinds of coffee, dessert, pastas. Because go worse. You know what? Uh, Miss Charms was informing me that they create their fresh pasta. Am I right? Okay, let's see. What can you recommend on your menu? For starters, we have the bread basket. Mm -hmm. And then I think it would be paired well with our ravioli. So oh, wow. we're using spinach artichoke on a vodka sauce. Um, and then for pizza, Para in contrast naman, white All sauce right. naman tayo. Let's try the truffle. Right. Truffle. Or are you a fan of... I love truffle. Blue? Okay, great, great, I love great. truffle. And then something to drink. Are you a fan of coconut? I am a fan of coconut. Is it cool? I, I like something cold. Yes, we can have it iced. For the dessert, our best seller is our hazelnut praline crunch and the cream puff. A fan ka ba nung simple lang siya na vanilla per quality? Let me try that. Cream puffs are really simple. But if it's made properly, simpleness of that cream puff, you will actually appreciate it. Yes, yes, yes. They recommend their cream puff. I would go for that because I know once I like the cream puff. It's a good cafe. I am very excited. All right, thank you so much. Yes, Looking I'll see forward. you again. Yes, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I am very excited po talaga to try, especially yung drink, kasi nauhaw na ako, tapos I want something ko. Thinking of, wait, <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> so, I'm back so, with my team, ako. yes. Wow. So we'll have some bread basket first and our Ooh. coconut cafe latte. This is the one. Yes. Oh, something cool. Oh my god. <laughs> hi, hi. So this one's the uh, hazelnut and vanilla cream. Vanilla cream. Oh, wow. Wait, is this honey? Yes. This is honey. <laughs> Spicy honey. <laughs> Ravioli pasta. And this is the, I don't know, freshly made. <laughs> freshly made ravioli pasta. So if you notice, uh, go worse. we're eating um, quality, quality food, which um, that's what I'm always after for it. So go worse. Nag product shot lang po sila. That's why, kanina pa ako gutom. Sorry, nabubulol ako ng Tagalog ko. Pero right now, as I said, kanina pa po ako na uuhaw. And this is so cool. I, I can't wait to try it. Sorry, this is again the... Coconut Catalante. And Miss Charms was informing me a while ago, hindi daw siya nakamix. So with that, I could try each layer. Yeah. Alright. I could really taste the pureness ng coconut. I am not a coffee fan, but I think hindi po ako ng bubola. I really enjoy this one. It's so perfect sa weather today. It is so humid. It is very humid, and this is the perfect drink that I could have. I am not joking po, kasi usually if I don't like the food, I say it in a uh, pa, in a nice way. But once I say po talaga na I really like the food, I really do like the food. I really enjoyed this. The drink is so good, and, and I'm so hungry actually. So, I sh which should I try first? Pizza or pasta? What can you What can you suggest? How about the ravioli first? Ravioli meal. All right. Quick pack. Miss Charms and I have the same course. We have the same course. We graduated um, hotel ma restaurant management. Being exposed with good food. Mm -hmm. Yun din yun na you want to share good memories and you know share that platform. Yes. Go where you know what food is meant to be shared and enjoyed, not by yourself, but with your loved ones, with your friends. Maybe once alone time. Alone time. Where did it? 
Ayun yung mga example, mga singles out there. Alone time po talaga, walang choice. So, hindi po nakaka-relate yata si Miss Charles because of course, she, she has a very supportive husband, Sister Carl. Ayun yung second episode. <laughs> I like how um, how the pasta is cooked. It's really al dente. It's not soggy. It's not also like um, mushy. I'm not sure if you know the word mushy, but I use it a lot. If it's like too soft, I call it mushy. <laughs> I, I made my own vocabulary. And you know, what's the inside of this one? It's artichoke and spinach. Ooh, artichoke and spinach. Al dente lang. Para maiwas natin ang mushy and the texture. And you know what? What I like, what I notice about this while eating it, uh, please correct me if I'm wrong, lah. As I keep on chewing it slowly, the aftertaste, yeah, my hint of spice, very hint, very, you know, very slight na spice, which adds a lot of flavor and kick in the dish. Talaga, I'm not joking. It's really, 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 really fresh. That's the reason why we're using three types of tomatoes. The smaller gets sweeter, then mm. long, and then the flavor. The one I ate. Yeah. Okay, you can taste if the tomatoes are actually canned. And in this case, it's so fresh, the silkiness, the mouth, and then it's not greasy too kasi. And then what I really like is the kick and hint of spice at the end of the end of the tongue, the palate yo. I really, really love this so much. Let's try the truffle pizza. Let's get ano, let's see. Oh. <laughs> I can smell the parmesan. And you know what? I just confirmed that the mushroom on top. Sashal. Aside from my truffle, portobello mushroom. Spell quality. And that's what you get. And would you recommend me to eat this alone first, then pour the honey? Or pour ko na yung honey? Let's try it as it is. Alright, okay, let's do that. Pang commercial ba to? <laughs> Alam niyo na guys, if hindi ako nagsasalita. Pero ang feeling ko wala akong kakainin dito na I wouldn't like. Baka isipin na po yung viewers natin na nang bobola na po ako. As I said, I will say if I don't like it. But of course, here sa Aman, this is really worth featuring kasi lahat from coffee to pasta to pizza. I am so far enjoying it. So, bibili san ko na pagkain ng pizza wait lang. With this one, you focus on the good thing. Hmm. Kasi hindi mo makukuha Actually, we have a family friend who does sourdough, and uh, we're doing our best to conceptualize mm -hmm. with our family friend. And so we really have to share the platform. Uh, we're very fortunate to be able to have this platform. It's a challenging lang nga to find your way here. But of course, technology is there. Technology is there. Ways is their key. Okay, now I'm gonna try another pizza. This one, I'm, I'm eating it with the honey. The pizza itself stands alone. But if you add the honey, it adds a little kick of spice once again. I think it's very important you do understand the balance of flavor in every dish that you present to us. From truffle to cheese. And when you add that honey, it's a little kick of spice there. I really I like the I like it with honey. I really do like it with honey. Alright, so right now we're gonna try their bread, which are also homemade. And this is the pesto. And I believe this is also homemade. Yes, and hydroponic. Ooh. Yeah, that's it. What I'm trying right now is the milk bread. So let's try it with know, butter or pesto. It's not salty, that's true. I mean, ang sarap na olive oil yung ginamit here. The, the olive oil that you used here is not the ordinary that you can find at the grocery store. You can taste the freshness of the pesto, the hint of that olive oil taste, and the garlic taste. It's not overpowering. I think what I really I love about your food, you do understand the mechanics of flavors and the balance and uh, how you combine it. So it really shows a lot how you um, dwell on your R&Ds which is really the foundation of every restaurant. If you want to have a part 2 sa Aman, just comment it down below. Kasi for sure, if may mag-request, pupuntahan po ulit namin kayo. Thank you, thank you. And you were mentioning kanina, your butter is... Um, kayo po nagsisisan? Yes, we season the butter. Kapag maganda yung produce natin sa mga herbs, we put herbs. Kapag hindi, 
natin. Tayo lang yung salt. And then, we look for the best butter. I tasted the saltiness. Mm -hmm. And I, I like it. It's not, it's not the usual salted butter that we have in the market. Ngayon lang po kami nag-meet, pero parang kabisado na po ni Miss Charms, how I eat. And parang... Sinusuki ko na po. Oo po. <laughs> okay, I'll take this last bite for the bread, pizza, and pasta. And we are moving on on our, on my favorite part of every meal, dessert. dessert. Dessert time, my favorite part of every meal, the hazelnut Berlin crunch. What's the layers? What's the hard part? The top most is pure mm -hmm. hazelnut, salted mousse, salted milk mousse. chocolate, and then brownie part. It's not a brownie, but you know the most na description. <laughs> Because you know what, well, nowadays, it needs to have different kinds of layers. It needs to have different kinds of textures. Like this one. You have the creaminess. You have the next layer, which is the mousse, I believe. The milk is so it's like silky. That was next is brownie. So imagine the fudgy. texture is fudgy. And sa pinakababa is the crunchy chocolate nuts. So imagine you have smooth, you have crunchy. You have that um, taste of the hazelnut, a kick of sweetness. Just imagine the play of flavors in your mouth, in every bite, huh? in every bite. This is the famous vanilla chocolate. And look at those layers. Huh? Actually, dapat wala ko sa inkulat. Hindi ko to in order dito kasi. But I ordered it inside because how it was described, it was so mouth-watering. So how do I eat this? Because there are three elements that I see that I could do. Ice cream, derecho dito, or the flambe, I'll pour it, and ice cream in every bite. That's one of Alright, okay, let's try. Look at those layers. Hello, goers! It is such a pleasure, Ms. Charms, first of all, for having us here. So, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. When you spell quality, you spell a man. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. The pleasure is ours. <laughs> thank you so much. And I can't wait to be back. And, goers, I hope you can go to the as what I am feeling right now. Because, definitely, all I can say is what you eat are all quality made food here sa Aman. Diba? So, if you are here in Pampanga, the culinary capital of the Philippines, then you should visit Aman. Don't forget to check out their social media accounts and maybe you could contact them. Maybe you could say something yeah. to promote your uh, Can we follow bar. us at Aman Coffee Bar, Instagram and Facebook account. And I hope to see the goers come here at Aman. We'll very much love to welcome you here. <laughs> there you go. The owner is very hospitable. Thank you so much, Kutalara. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. And okay, for now, I'm gonna continue eating and see you on the next vlog, everyone. Goers, bye!